oblivious of my drumming fingers on the tabletop. The, the, the final battle between good and evil was about to, 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 to be triggered. What's up guys? How are you doing? Louis21 back once again. And yeah, my PS4 is so loud. Sounds like an aeroplane on the runway. But anyway, I'm going to get on with this video. It's just a quick one about the Joker. remade, well, it shows us the birth of the Joker basically. It's not really a remake of any other version of the Joker, it's like the birth of him, how he became the Joker we know and love and fear at the same time. Um, I found myself in the cinema wanting to laugh but cry at the same time and half the scenes because like some of the acting is just another, another level. It's freaky at the same time, it's like my best way of putting it is like horrifically brilliant, I don't know. It's like one of them reviews a newspaper would give it, wouldn't it? About the Daily Mail or whatever. Whatever, I don't know, the Sun. The Sun would give it some stupid analogy. But yeah, um, I, I really enjoyed it. Didn't think it would be that good or messed up or macabre. Um, but a lot of people have said like it's similar to Taxi Driver. The feel of the film, like his progression from a normal guy, he feels like downtrodden like no one cares about him and all this and like like society doesn't care about him basically it's the same idea like someone who feels left out alienated if you like and then finally they go crazy and then yeah you know you know the rest of the story but obviously Heath Ledger did the Joker and that's amazing take nothing away from that performance this is the birth of it something different how he became who he is basically um, I'm not going to spoil it too much, but it makes quite a lot of like political statements and like a lot of things about mental health. Um, you know, makes you think about it today and take it for granted. Um, you know, people with mental health don't necessarily always get the attention they deserve and the help they need, and this shows that and shows what what happens to that particular person. The Joker, in a sense, Whacking Phoenix does a great job of it too. Like the way he he portrays the character, it's like freaky. Um, like down to the last, the every detail, like the opening scene of the film, even that, it's like happy, sad kind of moment. Like he's in his got his clown makeup on, and he's trying to like raise a smile, like to I don't know, cover up how he's actually feeling, and he's crying at the same time. And it makes you think like that's what's going on in his head, really. And you know, someone who feels like no one cares about him, like is left out um, already with mental health issues, and then it le leads to what it leads to, basically. But it's like a political statement that the film makes, like against the rich and the powerful, and you know, anti establishment is what I got from it as well. Uh, obviously, you don't want to end up like that. You don't want to do what the Joker does but it's like against the, the rich and the powerful and what they stand for and someone who's from a he's like he's raised by his mum only and uh, you know single parent and then living in poverty pretty much um, you know the people in society that the government forget about if you like or just turn a blind eye to and there's a lot of people like that and we see in the film they they no longer provided him with his uh, like meds, if you will, and maybe that contributed to him turning into the Joker. We don't know, but the film is more than just a story about a villain from probably the best superhero movie, you know, or the best villain ever, you know. That that crazy laugh like got got to me every time because it's not because he's evil and he's like more ha ha, you know, evil laugh. It's not that at all. Um, and you, you learn that in the film, and it it's just freaky. And when you watch the other actors that have played the Joker, you know, Jack Nicholson, even the cartoon, uh, Mark Hamill played him. Uh, but when Jack Nicholson played him, you see some of that same charisma in him, like the showmanship that the Joker always has, wanting to put on a big show, uh, and we don't even know why he does what he does, and what his ob obsession with... Batman is, or Bruce Wayne, or whatever, but yeah, that's the movie, you know, 
Like, it's more than just a movie, really. I just wanted to explain to you guys if you've seen it, you know what I mean? I mean, that's why in the cinema I was scared to laugh, otherwise people think you're crazy. Um, but yeah, it makes you think that you, you don't know what anyone's going through. Don't treat, don't treat someone badly if you don't know what they're going through, you know? Be nice to people. Because you never know, they might turn around, they might be the Joker, and then that's the end of your life, basically. Um, but yeah, that's it. Uh, it's Friday, I'm going to go get my hair cut in a bit. Tomorrow we've got the Spurs Watford game, hopefully go into that. And yeah, thank you guys. If you haven't seen the Joker, Joker it's called. Yeah, go and see it, it's amazing. It's got that 70s feel, and you don't get that anymore. 70s, 80s. But yeah, if you've seen Taxi Driver, it's that same sort of feeling. But obviously you know what the Joker, who the Joker is, you know what Wacky Phoenix will be turning into. But yeah, it's like the origin story. Anyway guys, that's it for me. I'll be here all day talking otherwise. Take it easy and remember, keep it real. 21. For life.